So two weeks later, and the flood has now gone. Only just. It was still here yesterday, but it's gone now. Pump's been working flat out ever since. Only one now, because one's still broken, because the Vamates haven't fixed it. The bales of straw that are currently there used to be there, and they've floated away. Um, lots of worms at the surface that have, like, drowned, I suppose. So there's loads of seagulls when I first pulled up in the field, but they've flown off, but they'll be eating them. So all this area now is just totally written off. Um, it's a shame, it's been a really nice weekend. We could have had lots of people visiting, looking at the scarecrows, picking sweet corn, digging potatoes. It's been dry, it's been still, it's been lovely, autumn all day. We'll hopefully um, keep an eye on the weather for next weekend and we might have to cut a path around the wet bit, but we could still maybe open up and uh, people can make the use of the, of the uh, sweet corn. But there's not a lot for people to do at the moment, especially around, around here with this lockdown thing, but the field's so big, people don't even need to mix with anyone. So. Hopefully we could uh, open up again next week. We were drilling sweet corn last, so we had the wheels up to the drill went deeper. So we're just shorten them now to lift them wheels up. Sorry, put them wheels down to lift the seed pulses out a bit. We don't want to sow the wheat as deep as we did with the air uh, with the sweet corn. So we've got it on the fed today because the fast track didn't really like picking it up too much. It's a bit heavy for it with a full hopper. So um, we're trying to get this field finished now and then the headland around that big one because it's a bit soft in places. So hopefully we'll get, we'll get finished all what we intended doing in the autumn today. And then if the spuds get cleared off the other ground, we'll, uh, we'll probably go in straight with this drill then. The front, the front leg lifts the ground up and the back leg places the seed in. And then the harrow with the batter balls on the back bury the seed. So we dig down here now. We should have we should have some seed somewhere. There we go. There's a seed there. And then there's another leg here. It's quite deep that one. Oh no it is. So it's doing a good job and the tines busting underneath where the seed's been pasted in a band. So if it comes wet hopefully the water will go down and it can uh, find find moisture but also drain it as well. Look off and spuds over there. We swapped to this drill because it's quite sort of soft and a bit still sticky. Um where the tractor goes you can just about see a line there and a line there. Was it with the other drill we weren't doing any loosening behind the tractor so it would have lay wet whereas this has got a tine running where the where the the wheels of the tractor are so hopefully it shouldn't lie wet if we get any rain because it has forecast some rain but be a bit of an experiment on this field because this has been done with that drill and if we go over here now to the drier bit of the field to be fair we did some yesterday with the john deere drill so this has been done with the john deere drill but you can see it's kind of like quite flat and a bit squashed where it was driving um so this, if it rains a lot, could lie quite wet. We'll just have to see. It's a bit of an experiment and we wanted to get the drill empty as well. Because this was just lightly dissed to get a seedbed. All that other stuff was deep loosened, which has worked well. But um, we've now got to do the headlands with that drill because it's made a mess turning round. <laughs> 